Welcome to Rams Camp Live. Serena Morales alongside Miles Simmons, and we've got Brandon Cooks and Robert Woods with us today. Uh, they had a joint practice against the Chargers yesterday. We're going to have another one tomorrow here at UC Irvine. Today, more of a mental rep day. I know these days are very important. Brandon, why are, why are days like this important, especially because of the tough practice you had yesterday against the Chargers? I think it's one of those things. You know, Coach McVay talks about it often. You know, to be able to go above the neck, uh, it takes a special team to be able to do that. I mean, this game is physical, but at the same time, it's mental as well. So anytime we can slow it down and really focus in on the details, uh, you know, I think that does us justice. Well, Robert, for you, I mean, how do you feel like the things went against the Chargers yesterday in that practice? I think it was a good day, competitive day on, on both sides. Uh, you know, for us to be able to, you know, run some of our plays, to try some new things against a new defense and just see how it works. But really just getting some new looks, going against some new defenders, new techniques, and just really trying things out and uh, getting getting a new look. Speaking of defenders, you're familiar more with our defense. Now, the other day we had a keep to leave a Marcus Peters on the set. Keep actually said that you are the hardest person to defend on offense. Ooh. So, what do you think of Keeb or the overall DB group? Yeah, I think they're really a really talented group. Uh, I like Keeb's game. I like Marcus Peters' game. I like uh, what we're doing in the secondary uh, and in the back group. Of course, Nikhil Roby in the slot. Mm -hmm. But um, just really, they do a lot of different things well. Uh, Marcus Peters uh, really trying to bait you and, and, and get you to go after the ball. And Keeb just uses his experience, his length, and um, just plays really, really. Uh, fast and, and uses experience um, as, as, his, as his tool. He's laughing because I don't know if we, we were watching, but Marcus was chirping over here in this <laughs> corner with you, Brandon, no? I mean, you know, it's one of those things. Marcus <laughs> thinks I'm always making up something, uh, but in reality, it's a part of our offense. Uh, so the harder that we can stress him, the better, and the better he'll get, and the better we'll get, well, and vice versa. As I think we were talking about before we came on set just now, I mean, we could hear Sean McVay say, ooh, yikes, got him, when yeah. you guys were going through that play down yeah. there in the red zone. So it's always fun to see things like that. But I, I guess, Brandon, too, when you guys are going against that caliber of a secondary, how much do you feel like you're making each other better? Oh, I think it's one of those things. You know, you talk about guys that's all pro, pro bowl, uh, caliber year in and year out. Anytime we can face them every single day in practice, uh, that's just going to make us better uh, as receivers, you know, when we go up against other people. And I think I like to think the same thing when they go against us, that they feel that way. And when they go against other people, uh, they feel like they've just been going against great players this whole time. Um, so, yeah. We had Higby and uh, Everett yesterday speak, at, and they, they couldn't stop their praises about the wideout group. Um, both for your running routes, but also for blocking. Um, how would you say that this wideout group is utilized and how diverse you guys have as a skill set? Uh, ask to do it all. Ask to be able to block some DNs. Ask to be able to, you know, clear out uh, linebackers, safeties, and the goal line. Of course, you know, block the, the secondary. Um, but really just ask to do it all. And, you know, this offense, we make things, um, we say they're losing the complexity, just making things look similar. Uh, if we're in a position to, to block a DN, we might just block them. We might, you know, just make it look like we're going to block them. You never know with this <laughs> offense. So you just got to be on point to do it all. And uh, we're all runners, uh, getting some handoffs. Um, so we got to be able to block as well. What I always find interesting with a Sean McVay offense is how he seems to always have different wrinkles. Every single year there's something new. Now I'm not going to ask you guys to reveal what the new wrinkles are because that you're not going to do that, obviously. Yeah. But do you feel that and is that exciting when you come into the meeting room and he's saying, hey, I've got something for you guys? Yeah, I think it's one of those things. Anytime you continue to elevate your game uh, individually and as an offense, uh, I think it helps us. You know, at the end of the day, we always going to have our core. Uh, but as we all know, Coach McVay likes to go in a lab and, uh, you know, mix up some experiments. Um, you know, that's the type of guy that he is. So anytime he comes in the meeting room excited uh, with something new, um, you know, it gets us excited. And, you know, we just can't wait to get out there on the field and execute. You know what's exciting? Aaron Donald, mm. who got a 99 rating on Madden this season. And I had a former safety, Ryan Clark, who's now an ESPN analyst, um, who said there is not enough of a number. Like, you can't go high enough when it comes to Aaron Donald and giving him a rating. What say you? I, I would say he uh, he probably could be the only player on Madden with 100% rating. Yeah. Uh, 100, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just like you see his dominance, you see how he plays, you see how he practices. Um, 
is, is just not a player that's so dominant and could change the game on the defensive side with literally taking the ball from a defender. Um, like, literally every stat should be a 99 mm. on, on this uh, no defender rating. Well, it's interesting, too, because he's just voted the number one player in the NFL top 100, and I would assume that you guys agree with that. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I mean, but what is it that makes him unique that you guys see that you don't think maybe the rest of the world would see? You know, I, I mean, I think the world sees it. His work ethic is unbelievable. You know, anytime you got a guy, uh, first of all, on the defensive line that looks like a, uh, you know, uh, like Optimus Prime or something like that, it's cut up everywhere. You know, you wonder how he gets that, but his work ethic is something that uh, stands out every single day. He never gets complacent. You talk about a guy who just, uh, you know, rated 99, number one in the league, huge, uh, unbelievable contract, and it seems like his work ethic only got stronger. So to be able to have that mindset, I think, was making him special. I think not having the pads on in practices like this, you kind of get football down to its purest form, just going out there, running your routes, going through all the mental days. In its purest form, why do you love football so much? This game is so fun. Uh, for me, I love the, the technique. Um, I love like just you know making it look the same, my routes look the same. If I'm running a go, it looks just like I'm running a slant or I'm stopping. Uh, just the details of the game, using my hands, um, working my feet, uh, and just creating, creating, keep, keeping and creating separation. Brandon, for you, taking that photo, I know they yeah. do that. Yeah, you know, for me, I think the, the mental of it, uh, the aspect of just uh, coming out here and sharpening my blade every single day uh, is one of those things that we're so blessed with an amazing gift to come out here and play this game every single day and get paid for it. I mean, you tell me to go out here and work out and run around, you get paid for it. Uh, it's such a blessing and just to go out here and continue to just be the best that I can be and uh, continue to grow um, and prove people wrong, really. Me and Miles are scared of a lot of things. Josh Reynolds, not so much. I just threw Miles right under the bus. Really did? Wow, um, back it over me. Okay. I took Josh Reynolds to Santa Monica Pier in the off season. Oh, yeah. He went on the roller coaster. He wasn't scared at all. Uh, what are you most scared of, each of you, on the clock? Can't say nothing. Uh, me? <laughs> uh, Deep, deep ocean. Just, just, <laughs> that is, that is an extremely yeah, logical fear. Out there. We have no idea what's in the ocean. Yeah, we have no clue. Idea. Deep ocean for you. Oh, that's, a, oh, that's a good one. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to say probably snakes. Snakes. snakes yeah. You and Sam. He held a snake though. He held a snake earlier this year. He so was, I kind of overcame, he overcame that. He kind of overcame his fear. What kind he of overcame his too. We was in true, Thailand. True. He jumped oh, out right. in the middle of the ocean. Yeah. It took it took about 20 minutes to <laughs> convince him. It was funny is our short little story. So I jump in. I'm having fun. I'm like, Rob, you got to do it. You got to do it. He's like, no, I don't know, bro. I'm like, all right, how about this? You jump in and you use my head to push back off to get back above water. <laughs> and so next thing you know, he jumps in and I'm underwater. And I'm over here acting like I'm, uh, you know, I cheerleaders push people like up. It. I'm underwater like this just so you can experience it. I'm like, all right, you want to do it again? <laughs> like, no, nah, I'm, I'm good. good Let's get it going. <laughs> yeah, so, but it was fun. Yeah. It was fun. Here. But what kind of snake did you hold? Oh, yeah. It was like... 10 feet? Like, like, like a big boy? Yeah. It, was like, yeah. it was one of those, yeah. This was on vacation Like we too. all, yeah. like four would have to hold yeah. it, stand yeah. up. Yeah, we right. all would have to hold Like I, me and you had a middle. <laughs> yeah, 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 the box. Okay. So yeah. you have both faced your fears yeah, in the off season. Sure. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, I yeah. jumped in and I panicked. I like, <laughs> I swear real quick, I got back. <laughs> All right, no, one, no one's watching this today. Um, no, but you guys, uh, sorry, Serena, you, you guys are obviously good friends on and off the field. I mean, you're talking about going on vacation together. Just what does that kind of chemistry that you've developed, that friendship that you develop off the field, how does that help you when you get on the field on Sundays too? Man, it's one of those things that is just, you know, this game is so amazing and it's bigger than uh, football, you know, uh, to be able to have those relationships outside the, uh, you know, the locker room, to be able to go do things like that. You know, I, I was telling him the other day, my wife and his wife, uh, get along so well. So when we did that, it was one of those special moments that, uh, you know, anytime you can do something like that, uh, you know, it's just, it just, it builds that bond. You know, unfortunately, we wish every, like, all the White House could have came on it, but, you know, it was one of those things that it didn't work out, but man, it's just, uh, you know, words can't really explain that, but it's just, uh, you know, iron sharp iron on and off the field for sure. And the biggest thing is that just that camaraderie, just being with each other, uh, building these relationships on and off the field. We're out there playing for each other. We're out there. Like, I'm putting everything mm -hmm. I got for that one play just for Brandon to score a touchdown. Same for Big Smooth, Josh, mm -hmm. uh, um, Cooper, um, JoJo, anybody, Kadero, anybody's out there. We're all selfless. 
trying to like we look at it as if he scores a touchdown, yeah. you know, we all score a touchdown. We celebrating like we scored. You know, all of these are like just receiver moments and uh, receiver highlights. We always just try to make the big play if we could spring it, whether it's catching the ball or blocking. Mm -hmm. um, each and every guy in our room feels the same way. For sure. And I mean, being away from family during training camp, but you're also kind of with family. That's something Marcus Peters said. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. But do, you, do you feel how unique that is, though? I mean, just from a wide receiver standpoint in that room, because you, their position is sort of notorious for having divas, right? And you guys all have personalities, <laughs> but you all are, as Robert, you just said this, you're all very selfless and you mm -hmm. all play for each other. Do you feel how unique that is? Yeah, it's one of those things I asked some of the guys sometimes. I remember asking Rob, I was like, you tell me one receiver that's doing it all by themselves, that's, you know, going to the playoffs consistently, going deep into the postseason, and you really can't name that. But when you got a group of guys that's doing it together at the same time for one another, and everybody eats, as, as they say, um, you know, typically you got a better chance of playing, the, um, you know, uh, postseason and stuff like that. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, I was going to say one thing, too. This this offense, it's, uh, the ball is very, very spread around. Everybody's getting their touches, oh, getting their yards. So it, it makes it a whole lot easier just be selfless out there. There's games where or plays or quarters where, you know, you, you may not touch the ball. You're just clear out routes. But in this offense, you know it's going to come. So you're, you're more selfless for your uh, your teammate over there. Mm -hmm. um, but it's really just, just doing everything for this team. Your success comes with the team success. We have a couple fan questions for both of you. And, well, are we expecting another 1,000-yard season? Are we both getting a 1,000-yard season here from both of you? What about four, four, four of you guys? Yeah, I mean, we're, shooting, we're always shooting 4,000. That's always the goal, always the goal to just push it and be better, be better than last year. And uh, we, got some, we got some threats. We got four receivers, and then we got, you know, four receivers shooting 4,000. Um, four receivers just, just trying to shatter, doing it as a unit. And whatever we do, just be consistent when we do it. Okay. And who is the messiest person in the locker room? Ooh, interesting. <laughs> uh, I mean. Miles, do you I don't know? know about, oh, I don't, I don't know about that one. Uh, and if I knew, I don't know if I'd be able to tell you. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't want to put that out on the internet. Yeah, I can understand. Yeah. The meanest person in the locker room, these two right here, right? <laughs> we'll just put it at that. Yeah, um, like that. Huh? We'll, we'll end it with our Fuego moment, EJ, because it's so hot and you see Irvine, it's training camp. Um, I'm going to start. It was clearly the best moment of the day. Cooper Cup on the field. I got to meet Cooper Pup again. Uh, we had a celebration of all of our armed service members who came to training camp today. So we got to hang out from with Cooper Pup, who was a shelter for service dog. So and he was named obviously from the fans. That's my fluggle moment of the day. Miles Simmons, you're up. Okay, can I have to use mine as a question? Robert, would you rather be a dog or have to take care of old Brandon Cook's dogs? Oh, oh man. I'd rather be one of Brandon Cook's dogs. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's smart. That's spoiled. Okay. Yeah. All right. Brandon, your fuego My moment. My fuego moment has to be Kate. Uh, you know, she is a long story short when, you know, unfortunately when we're having all those fires, uh, you know, during the season. Um, I pray everyone still recover from that. But. <laughs> oh, that's you said. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that this might be a fuego yeah. moment right yeah. here. Yeah. You get a fuego moment. That's cool, man. It's pretty fuego. Yeah. That's, quite, that's, that's pretty fuego. fuego. <laughs> Long story like, short, you know, you know, the fires was going on. And I had to leave the house. And, uh, you know, I had text Kate, you know, I would need a room, but I also need some horse stalls because my horses got out. Um, and so, you know, this whole time she's thinking that she got to really find me a stall or find someone to rescue my horses. And it ended up being a joke. And then now when I came to camp, she left a horse inside my bathroom. And, and I'll say, uh, Kate Koss, uh, one of the uh, managers who officiates pretty much everything that you guys need yeah. off the field and on the field during game day. Yeah. So shout out to Kate Koss. Shout out to Kate. Kate moment. Kate, yeah. And you had a horse in, in your, your room this <laughs> season. Horses in the back. Horses yes. in the back. <laughs> what, do, what do you got? Uh, just uh, when the fans come out, made a, made a big sign uh, just the other day, actually, for his birthday, saying for his birthday, he just wanted to meet me. Uh, came out, was able to meet him, uh, took a picture with him. Uh, just one of those fans coming out, being able to make their day out here at the uh, Rams camp. Awesome. We're excited to have you guys at the desk today. Thank you for joining Appreciate us. It. Appreciate Rams it. Camp Thank you. For those that missed it, we had a joint practice Thank against the Chargers it. yesterday. You can see those highlights right now.
You know, Serena, I really think that the tight ends group is looking really strong right now under the direction of position coach Wes Phillips. But when it comes to what happened in today's practice, let's take a look at some of these press conference highlights. And I thought it was a real credit to the Chargers yesterday for us to be able to both get a lot of work in uh, and, and really understand the intent of what we were trying to get done from the practice setting. You know, there wasn't anything that took away from both teams' abilities to get better and to get really a lot of work, and that's what it's about. I think, uh, you know, we've had some situations where, where it became a distraction, where, you know, some fights occurred, and we're very optimistic and hopeful that tomorrow will be a lot of the same as what it was Thursday, and, and we're hoping for the same against the Raiders. Todd was saying that, that no one looks forward to training camp but it seems like you're a guy who's really embraced and enjoyed training camp. Do you think that's fair to say? I'm just here working. You know, um, I ain't been here in two years, so it's just good to be back in the ground with the guys. This is what I miss the most. You know, that this is where it all start. You know, this is where it all start, and, and to be here now and, and grind and getting in football shape now, and I have to do it a week before the game. You know, it ain't gonna do nothing but make me that much better. You know, I got high goals just to have success and keep getting better each year. And, you know, the main goal is to try to get a ring. You know, that's the main thing is trying to get back to the Super Bowl and you know being world champion. So we just got to keep working. I got to keep working and you know trying to do my part. Today's training camp was very special. We got to celebrate everyday heroes. We had active military members, retired military vets, and first responders come and check out training camp. Yeah, it was awesome to see that. And also, as you guys probably saw with the Brandon Cooks and Robert Woods interview, we had a Black Hawk helicopter fly in to practice today. Check this out. Group. Yeah, those guys love to talk on the field. We had one of them wired for recent practice. Let's listen in. Ben, what's good, bro? What we turn? Little body cam, you know what I mean? Really? Looking at, looking at route right now. Got him. Hey, that's a sack. That's a sack. Hey, that's a sack. Don't worry about that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You got to just watch a little bit of I know. I know. I know. A little bit of running. Yep. Yeah, I did. I did. I did. I did. I did. You know why I got him? It was too slow. <laughs> it was too slow. Down, down, down. Muscle, muscle. Bump, 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 bump. Oh! Hey man, let's get it up, man. Ball on three. One, two, three. Ball. A lot of action here at UC Irvine, but you know what? It ain't over till it's over. For our Rams Camp Live, Serena Morales, Miles Simmons, thanks for joining us.